now we will start with some function there will be a function which sends money okay let's start with sending money you should always keep in mind the constraints for this so like uh, in this we uh, what we are doing is that there is a wallet there is a shared wallet basically the owner is the message dot sender or the one who has deployed it so what he has rights for is that he can pause the smart contract or destroy the smart contract as and when he wants i'll tell you about this a bit later what it is all meaning but right now the send money anybody can call it so anybody can send money and his address will be stored in the address and he will get a balance structure mapped with his address and so we can easily see how much balance he is having so like that so now the send money the send money doesn't have any constraints so we'll just make it public but it should be payable because this is getting some funds so this should be payable now what we want in the first step first step should be that the balance of who has called the function should increase to the value he has given so we will say balance and then uh, we will be increasing the toad balance this one so we will write it as balance now it is okay just a second it should be balance record we will be first considering the mapping so balance underscore record now in this mapping there will be an address the key so we will write the address as message dot sender is basically who is calling the function now in this now we are inside the structure we are inside the structure balance so now what we can do we can call the toad balance this one by a dot operator very easily so we will write dot bal let's say plus equal to and then uh, how much he has sent so it will be given by message dot value msg dot value okay yeah done next thing we will be doing is that we will also put it in the payment so how to do that so here you know that uh, you have a u int out here which is the numpy so what we will do exactly is that we'll increase the numpy by one which is basically the number like how many numbers of transaction has occurred so we'll just increase it so numpy plus equal to one oops okay so we have increased numpy and uh, you have to obviously write it for the person we are increasing so balance dot record uh, balance record msg dot sender then dot operator and then numpy yeah so done and then next step is that we'll be using the mapping the mapping is the payments one so how do we do that for that uh, i think so we should make a new variable which will be very easy for us then only we can put it directly so we can make a structure payment this payment structure so we will write it as payment then I, uh, you have to tell the memory location where it will be stored and all i'll tell you about this memory keyword later and then just the name let's say pay okay then equal to now you will put the value uh, so this is basically 
initializing so how do we initialize a new variable with this type so it can be easily done by your predefined constructor that the structure have so how to call it it is like you just write this structures name and then parenthesis and the two values it will take so amt and timestamp so basically the amount amount is basically msg dot value right now and uh, talking about the timestamp the timestamp can be got by uh, can be get by now so now is basically a keyword which will give you a timestamp right now i'll tell you how this works okay uh, unused local variable okay uh, so that is a warning you are not supposed to look at that then what you will do you will put this pay variable in this with the mapping this okay so let's try to do this so you have the numpy as a uint to map to the payment so how do we do that so we will first take the balance or balance record dot m uh, and then msg dot sender now dot dot payments you can see the payments is the variable for the mapping or the identifier basically you can say and then numpy out here and then we'll basically put it equal to uh, payments numpy and we'll equate it to pay sorry it should work i don't know what is the okay payments and then numpy oh should copy this i guess okay so this was a very long uh, long statement i'll tell you what is happening over here so balance record of msg dot sender so this is basically the mapping the first mapping this is the address which maps to this balance record so this balance for the message dot sender the person who is calling this function so his balance structure will be given by this much up till this then dot payments so inside there is a nesting so the inside mapping is taken the payments it will also get a parameter or the key so you can call the key which is the numpy which is also inside the balance so you have to call it by balance record msg dot sender that is the person who is calling the function his uh, balance is numpy so you got the numpy and then it will be equated to pay so this is how the send money function works